हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल वंस अगेन फीस वी अपॉन यू ऑल इन टू डेज वीडियो एक्सक्यूज मी इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू गाइज हाउ टू क्रोशे दिस खाडिगन इट्स वेरी सिंपल एंड ईजी टू क्रोशे एंड इवन इफ यू आर न्यू टू क्रोशे यू कैन ईजीली मेक दैट आई हैव ट्राइड माई लेवल बेस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी थिंग एज डिटेल्ड एज आई कोड एंड I have already made this one, but I am going to make this one on camera. I will show you guys the length and the width of the cardigan. The length of the cardigan is approximately 11 inches or little bit over 11 inches, and the width of the cardigan is approximately 12 and half to 13 inches. Uh, is the length and. Uh, the yarn i used is this one it's a danish yarn and i always tell the uh, what you call it uh, length and width of the yarn uh, sorry the thickness of the yarn because for me it's more easy to explain than i then i explain in ply i uh, even uh, to be honest even i get confused about the ply so in this is a huge ball of the yarn and it's uh, 400 g and into 400 g there is 1200 m of the yarn i use this one uh i use this one in this cardigan and i used approximately the same yarn it's a little bit different uh in this one i use this gray yarn and uh, the brand of the yarn is different but thickness of the yarn is same here you can see into 400 g there is 1200 m of the yarn and uh, into this one i have used this variegated yarn and it's a magic light yarn by ice yarn and into the 100 g of the yarn there are 1200 m of the yarn sorry uh, 360 m of the yarn into 100 g of the yarn or maybe uh, you guys go and go to ice yarn home page and you guys you guys can check it there and i used 4 mm crochet hook so let's get started so the starting point of this uh, cardigan is here on the neckline here and uh, then we are going to work downwards for that what i am going to do is i am going to make basic uh, chains and i am going to make 55 chains so first of all we will start with the slip knot and then i am going to make chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 i am going to make 55 basic chains i have made rest of the chains off camera so that i can save some time now what we are going to do is we are going to skip first three stitches and we are going to make a double crochet into next uh, sorry we are going to skip first three chains and then into the fourth one we are going to place a double crochet this skipped three chains will be counted as our first double crochet and now i will make one double crochet into each and every chain simple plain double crochet into each and every chains all the way to the end at the end of this round you should end up with 52 double crochets plus this starting chain 3 which we skipped in total if you include that starting chain 3 you should end up with 
53 double crochets now what we are going to do is we are going to make chain 3 1 2 3 and turn and make one double crochet into next one double crochet into next three double crochets we are not going to make any stitches into this stitch because we have already made a chain three which counts as our first double crochet so now we are going to make a double crochet into next three stitches one two and three Two double crochets into the next double crochet this one one and two now make one double crochet into next four double crochets one two three and four two double crochets into the next one and two this is the pattern we are going to repeat from here to here by placing one double crochet into one two three four double crochets and then we are going to make an increase by making two double crochets into the next double crochet repeat this section all the way to the end and then i will resume the video when i reach here after repeating the uh, last portion of the pattern for the last time you should end up with two double crochet and one chain three left from the last round so what we are going to do we are going to make one double crochet on the top of last two double crochets one and two and one double crochet on the top of our chain three at the end of this round you should end up with 62 double crochets plus starting chain three next round uh, is going to be plain round we are not going to make an increasing in next round so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color of the yarn if you want to make it like this one in plain one color you can just continue the same color what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color and join the new color turn around join the color here on the top of our last double crochet from the last round and then join the other yarn and make chain one and make one single crochet into the same double crochet from the last round into the next stitch which is this one we are going to make a treble crochet we are going to wrap the yarn twice around the crochet hook insert the crochet hook into the next stitch and make a uh, treble crochet pull through first two loops second two loops and then third two loops make one single crochet into the next again treble crochet into the next again single crochet into the next and treble crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end just remember one thing that the side of the work which is facing towards you right now this is going to be the wrong side or inner side of the cardigan and this is going to be the outer or right side of the cardigan so just repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one single crochet into the next treble crochet into the next 
all the way to the end so I am at the end of this round and I have made treble crochet and I am going to make a single crochet on the top of chain 3 starting chain 3 fluff, uh, from the last round now what I am going to do is I am going to cut the yarn and I am going to attach the grey yarn again and next round is also going to be our increasing round I am going to turn the work around and then I will join my grey yarn make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and make one double crochet into next two stitches one and two two double crochets into next stitch one and two make one double crochet into next three stitches one two and three two double crochets into next one and two this is the small portion we are going to repeat from here to here that we are going to make one double crochet into next one two three stitches and then we are going to make an increase by making two double crochets into the next repeat this small section all the way to the end after completing this small section this pattern uh, for the last time after that we should end up with three more stitches to go what we are going to do is we are going to make one double crochet into all of those three stitches one two and three at the end of this round you should end up with 77 um, double crochets plus this starting chain three which also counts as our first double crochet so we are going to end up with 78 double crochets next round we are going to change the color and we are going to repeat this round what we are going to do is we are going to turn the work around attach our other yarn and make chain one and then make one single crochet into same stitch and treble crochet into the next single crochet into the next treble crochet into next repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making simply one single crochet in next stitch and treble crochet into next all the way to the end I have made uh, all the stitches the only stitch I have left is this starting chain 3 and my last uh, stitch was single crochet so into the last one into this starting chain 3 from the last round I am going to make a treble crochet I thought I should mention it because in the last round here we end up with sing we ended up with single crochet on the on the start and on the end because here we had odd numbers of the stitches but here we have equal numbers of the stitches so that's why we end up with treble crochet I'm gonna cut the yarn and then change the color join gray yarn I'm going to join here and make chain 3 1 2 and 3 and I'm going to make one double crochet into next two double crochets sorry uh, one double crochet into next one double crochet 
this starting chain 3 counts as our first double crochet so I'm going to make a double crochet into the next and then I'm going to make two double crochets into the next one and two and then I'm going to make one double crochet into next two double crochets one and two in next stitch we are going to make an increase by making two double crochets one and two this is the small portion of the pattern we are going to repeat all the way to the end by making one double crochet into next two double crochets one and two and then into the third one we are going to make an increase by making two double crochets one and two so repeat this small section from here to here all the way to the end after repeating this section of the pattern for the last time I should have three more stitches to go so I'm going to make one double crochet into those last three double crochets one two and three at the end of this round you should end up with 102 double crochets plus this starting chain 3 also as um, counts as a double crochet so you should end up with 103 double crochets now I'm going to cut the yarn and change the uh, and change color of the uh, and to change the color of yarn and then we are going to repeat our third round again turn around and we are going to repeat this round again because at the end of this round we have odd number of the stitches so we are going to so we are going to end up with single crochet here and also single crochet here on the end of this round we are repeating this round which is third round so I'm going to do that I'm going to make the, this round off camera and then I will resume the video again we are going to work on round number eight and I'm going to join my gray yarn and make chain three <clears throat> one two and three and I will make one double crochet into next two double crochets uh, next two stitches one and two two double crochets into the next One double crochet into next two stitches one and two and two double crochets into the next one and two this is the small portion we are going to repeat by making one double crochet into next two stitches and then two double crochets into the next i will show you guys once more one and two and then we are going to make an increase by making two double crochets into the next one and two so repeat this small section all the way to the end 
so after repeating the small uh, the section of the pattern i should end up with three more stitches to go i'm going to make one double crochet into each of those three stitches one two and three so at the end of this round i should end up with 135 double crochet plus this starting chain three which counts as our um, first double crochet so i should end up with 136 double crochets what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut the yarn and change color and then i am going to repeat this round because we have equal numbers of the stitches in this round so we should end up we should start with the single crochet and we should end up with treble crochet when we reach at the end of this round so repeat this round by making one single crochet and then treble crochet into next single crochet into the next all the way to the end so this is <coughs> this is going to be round number 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 i'm going to change the color of the yarn and then i will join it here and make chain three one two and three and then i will make one double crochet into next three double crochets or into next three uh, stitches one <clears throat> two and three Two double crochets into the next one and two and now what we are going to do is we are going to make one double crochet into next seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven two double crochets into the next one and two this is the small power portion we are going to repeat from here to here by making one double crochet into next seven stitches one two three four five six seven and then an increase by making two double crochets into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end <coughs> so after repeating the la uh, pattern uh, the section of the pattern for the last time I should end up with three stitches to go so I'm going to make one double crochet into each of those three stitches so at the end of this round this was our last increasing round at the end of this round you should end up with 152 double crochet plus starting chain three so it means that we have 153 double crochets at the end of this round now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the yarn. Sorry, my yarn got stuck. I have to fix it like that. So I'm going to change the color and i am going to repeat this round because we have odd numbers of the stitches at the end of this round so we should end up we should start with the single crochet and we should end up with single crochet as well so repeat this round all the way to the end and then i will resume the video again <coughs> 
So next round, which is <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12th round is going to be very, very simple and easy. <clears throat> what you are going to do is I'm going to attach my gray yarn, make chain 3 and simply make one double crochet into each and every double crochet all the way to the end we are not going to make any increasing we are not going to do anything uh, what you call it different just simple plain double crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end because we had 153 uh, stitches in last round <clears throat> so at the end of this round as well we should end up with 153 stitches so simply make one double crochet into each and every stitch and then we are going to do some separation for the armholes right front left front and back side so i will complete rest of the round off camera and then i will resume the video again <coughs> So after completing the last round, what we are going to do or what we are going to need to do is that we need to place some stitch markers. You don't, if you don't have stitch markers, it's okay. You can make without it. You can just count the stitches. So what I'm going to do is from here, sorry, yeah, <clears throat> from here to here, what I'm going to do is I am going to count 24 stitches. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Into 24th stitch, I'm going to place a stitch marker. I will count again slowly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 so this is our uh, stitch number 24 and then now I will skip 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and uh, I'm going to skip 29 stitches this is stitch number 29 so into the next one I'm going to place a stitch marker so after this stitch marker and before this stitch marker between these two stitch markers you should end up with 29 stitches now from here to here I will count again one I'm going to count this stitch as well where we have placed our stitch marker. So I'm going to count <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and uh, this is stitch number 47 so from this stitch marker to here we should have uh, 47 stitches and now from we are going to count from this stitch marker from this stitch where we have placed our stitch marker we are going to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and this is stitch number 29. So from here, from this stitch marker to the stitch just before the stitch marker you should have 29 stitches. Now you should have 24 stitches left so we will count this stitch as well where we have uh, as well where we have placed our stitch marker so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 we have 24 stitches here I will again show you numbers of the stitches again 
when you fold it like this and this this is going to be the left front this is going to be the right front and these two are going to be the armholes and this is going to be the back side of the cardigan so you should end up with 24 stitches here on the left front 24 stitches on the life uh, right front uh, 29 stitches here on the armholes 29 here 29 here and you should have 47 stitches here on the back so now what we are going to do is we are going to repeat this round and for that what we are going to do is we are going to at the end uh, yeah what we are going to do is we are going to attach other yarn and then <coughs> I'm going to make a single crochet into the same stitch, treble crochet into the next. For next 24 stitches, I will speed it a little bit up so that I can save some time. I will make rest of the stitches off camera until I reach my first stitch marker so I have uh, repeated this pattern until I reached my first uh, stitch marker I have placed or last stitch into that and now I'm going to skip next 29 stitches and into the 30th one which is the next uh, what you call it stitch marker I'm because the last last stitch here was the treble crochet so I'm going to place a single crochet into that and then I will repeat the pattern for next including this stitch I'm going to repeat the pattern for next 47 stitches we have separated our armholes now and now we are working on our back side of the cardigan so repeat it repeat the pattern for next 20, uh, 47 stitches and then i will resume the video when i reach our next stitch marker I have repeated for the uh, next 47 stitches and our last stitch should be just before our stitch marker what we are going to do now is that we are we are going to skip all the stitches from this stitch marker and then we will make because our last stitch was single crochet so into next stitch marker i'm going to play i'm going to skip all the stitches in between and i'm going to place a treble crochet into next stitch marker and i'm going to repeat the pattern on the rest of the stitches by making front uh, treble crochet into the next and single crochet into the next you should when you start working from here after separating the second armhole you should have 12 uh, sorry 24 stitches to work on so at the end of this round you should end up with 95 uh, uh, stitches 94 double crochet plus starting chain 3 so you should end up with 95 stitches and now what we are going to do is I will just show you guys that what we have done so far the next uh, rest of the body of the cardigan is going to be very simple and easy to make and what we are going to do is we are going to first of all join our gray yarn and then we will simply make 
join it here chain 3 1 2 and 3 and simply make one double crochet into each and every double crochet without doing any increasing or without skipping any stitches simply make one double crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end and because we ended up with 95 stitches in the last round so we should end up with 95 stitches in this at the end of this round as well so what we are doing is we are making simple plain one double crochet into each and every stitch all the way to the end so from now on i'm going to stop this uh, video uh, it's going to be a, uh, end of part one of the video because i'm going to what i'm going to do from now on is that i'm going to repeat two rounds uh this round and this round which we have just made i'm going to repeat this round and this round as many times as i want to or as many times as you guys have to until you get the length of the cardigan so what we are doing right now we are working here on the rest of the cardigan so we will just keep working rounds keep adding this round the round we have just made and this round this round what we are doing is we are making simple one double crochet in e into each and every stitches and into the next round which is this round we are making one single crochet in first stitch and into the next stitch we are going to make a treble crochet so repeat last two rounds as many times as you need to until you get the length of your cardigan what i did here was that i changed the color and made uh, last three rounds in this gray yarn but if you don't want to change the color you can simply continue like this so repeat these two round uh, two rounds um, until you get the desired length of the cardigan and uh, i will see you guys in part two where we are going to work on our sleeves and hair on the button band sorry button holes and button bands and uh, then i will resume the video when we are going to work on rest of the cardigan i hope it was easy to follow i always 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 try my level best to keep my video as simple and and detailed as i can uh, still as i as always say english is not my language it's not my first or second language but still i'm not giving up i'm trying my level best to make my videos as simple as i can uh, so that it's easy for you guys to understand but still if there is any confusion if there is any question in your mind please comment below and i will try my level best to help you guys if if after finishing the um, at this point if you see some gap here on the front it's okay because we are going to fill this gap with this button band and button hole band um thank you so much for watching please comment below if there is any confusion or if there is even a slightest um, thing which you guys did not understand or if or if there is even a slightest confusion um thank you so much for watching peace be upon you all and happy crocheting